Okay. What it says here is you grasp the ear firmly, pull down, and then twist as you're pulling down. So today we have this wonderful opportunity. Uh, one of our neighbors grows lots of sweet corn uh, for their family and they always plant lots of extra. So they invited us to come over and pick some. Yep. So that's what we're gonna do. Do, that's not what we're gonna, anyway. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Yeah. Um, but right now we have to swap out this uh, hitch. We need one that's a little bit lower of a drop than that one. So we can so. bring our trailer. Because that little car back there doesn't fit a lot and we got a pile in there. Right. So mama's gonna be beefy. Watch this. I like this part. Check this out. Need that one. Oh, I got it. No, this way. Come on, sister, you got this. Pull one one. No, I'm doing it wrong. Righty tighty. No, I know. Lefty Lucy. There we go. Come on, sister. You can do this. Come on, you can do this. No, I can't, actually. You can't? I can't. <laughs> yeah, let me give it a shot. Now, Mama is very capable. It's just, you know, sometimes got to bring in the big guns. Just saying. Nice. Oh, you didn't, first of all, have it on there. Yeah, I did. That might help. I did. It just fell off. Okay. Like butter, baby. Just like butter. Just like butter. The big guns. Ever. All right, think of the nut. Become one with the nut. You're the nut. Let the force flow through you. Let it guide you. Luminous beings are we, not this crude matter. You're not funny. I think he's pretty funny. You're not funny. You think he's funny? Okay. All right, you guys. Who's ready to get your corn on? Me. To our farmer friends who will remain nameless so that we keep them as friends. Thank you. Chasing cows with a drone. 
Which one of these do you think was Brad's idea? Chasing the cows with, no. the, with the drone? Yes. No, it was actually our dairyman Mark's idea. Did he want you to go over the cows? I kind of said, can I go over there? And he didn't really say no. So, okay. You're I call that the same thing. Not in any way. I call Not it the even same thing. close. And so. then they headed for his house. They, they started running. Home. Yeah, every these cows are trained to know what times to come in. And, and they can jump through flaming hoops, too. No, they can't. They head for home. And when they head for home, they'll go, you know, they go on their, their route. And then they go to their... Through mud. Through mud. And then they <laughs> they get to where they're supposed to come inside at the through the the chute I guess you would call it. Well, but once they're there, they won't go back in the pasture, even though they're standing there for hours. So they got spooked. They went the other way, and everybody thought, okay, fine. But then they started going to home. And <laughs> Mark says, "Oh no!" So he went down, running to around, chase them back with the ATV. And then he got stuck he got in mud stuck. like this, <laughs> and he's in there rocking that thing and rocking. I'm watching it, and she's like, "He's stuck real good." So I literally start running. I'm running. I'm running. I must have ran four miles, either that or maybe like a hundred yards. Uh, but I actually ran, and uh, but just as I got there, he got it un unstuck. Yeah. But. They allowed us to come and pick the corn that they did not need from their field, and we are very, very grateful. Yeah, they plant four rows of probably 100 feet, 150 feet long, um, and their family doesn't eat all of that, so they share with us. We're very grateful. We are very grateful because this corn rocks. <laughs> this corn is awesome. This corn is awesome. And even though it's obviously a mess, we're sticky very to nice. our elbows, it's so worth it. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but, you know, it's just one of them things where if you see somebody in need and help them out, it's, it's a good thing for building community. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what we're about. Yeah. So what are you seeing, Nana, over there? Can you see her? <laughs> she, she's looking for a corn she's cob. Like, she's looking for treats on the floor. Maybe this will do it, Nana. What do you think? No, this one looks better. Did she really eat it? She's oh, eating it. Geez. That's going to make a mess. Woo! That's going to be a hallelujah moment. Uh, yuck. Just write so, her name on the wall. We're only halfway through uh, shucking all this corn and cutting it off the cob, and we have 28 quarts so far. So, so the goal is that if, if we get everything that we think we will, we'll have at least one of these per week. Mm-hmm. Which, Which is about all you need, really. Well, and we won't eat corn every week. True, and then you save it up for Thanksgiving and, and stuff like that. And then you have two, so. Yeah. yeah. So, corn managed, pressure canning, yay. <laughs> now you can put it on the shelf, shelf stable. Don't got to worry about it. No refrigeration. And besides, what fun it is to, you know, with the drone and corn. So I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day. Mm -hmm.